Good morning, friends. It is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday, and we are very busy, or it's going to get very busy. We're just going to embrace the chaos at this point. I was trying to manage it, but I don't know. I'm not sure how this day is all going to work out. It's definitely going to be a busy one. So we actually just got back from bringing Bailey to the vet. Nothing is wrong with her. However, she's just getting her teeth cleaned. She has to go under for that. And it's an all-day thing where they take her in and clean her teeth, give her the full treatment, and then I think we pick her up about 5 or 6 o'clock is what they said, kind of around that time frame. So it's actually a good day for her to be gone because... We are having all of our interior doors switched out today. I'm hoping it will get done today, but I'm sure there'll be a few problematic areas or just some spots of it where they won't be able to get to, so we'll see. I'm not even sure if it's one guy or two or whatever. I have no idea. I just know that he's showing up at nine to get started, which is in about a half hour. But, so we have that going on, and then we're just, we're home all day. We actually celebrated the twins' birthday over the weekend with our family. It was the only weekend that worked before school starts, and so we got back late last night from that. So just trying to get the house back in order from being gone, put away the birthday gifts, stay out of their way as they're working. It's funny to me, I think, but <laughs> whenever we have someone who is working on a space in our home or a project or, you know... I always try to clean up that room, make it look nice and tidy so they can easily get in and out, but this one's a little bit more challenging because they're going to be basically in every room. They're going to be in our closet, which is where you hide things, and <laughs> nothing is safe at this point, so I'm just going to try my best to get things out of the way the best that we can and roll with it. We'll see what happens, but what was I going to say? I can't remember what I was going to say or where I was going with this. What was I saying? Mm. That's where my mind is at today. A few before shots for you. These are the doors that I painted over the years. They're hollow core. They were oak doors I painted. They've seen better days and of course they're very dirty because they're going away and I just have not kept up with keeping them clean since I knew they'd be changed out. But I think it's just going to look so much nicer to have some character to the doors and a little bit more privacy because we are getting the uh, solid, I guess, wood doors instead of the hollow. And you can see all the imperfections when you paint things white. So any holes or major dents in the doors, they really stand out. This door we installed a couple of years ago and we just did not do a good job at it. This was kind of a DIY fail. As I would say, uh, you know, it wasn't actually meant to go in this room. This was actually meant to go outside of our laundry room. We have a closet and we were going to put it there, but once they delivered it, we're like, yeah, that's not going to work. And I'm like, you know what? I think it'll work in our bedroom. So we hurry up, installed it in here, and it just has never. It's never been good. I love the door. It's just not going to work. So as you can see, it does not open all the way that way. So we just always have it open half and we slide through the gap. There's, I mean, it can slide a little bit more right now. I don't have it fully open, but yeah, it's just, you can open it this way, but it's just awkward. We don't like it coming out this way. We want it to go that way. I don't know if it's a right-handed thing or just, I don't know. Anyways, they are going to be fixing this and we're going to do two smaller doors. They kind of open more of a grand entry, I guess, into our closet. So I'm happy about that, that we can have the doors open and it's not this small little gap anymore. My dad is very good with electrical work. He taught me everything I know as far as switching out all the outlets in our house. And I've been talking with him. He doesn't know that, but he's coming this weekend. And one of the things I'm going to ask him to actually move this light switch into our closet. So then we just don't have to worry about it with the new doors either. So that will soon be changed, but yeah, I have to wait till he gets here. That's not something I don't think I can do by myself. The doors just got delivered from the lumber yard. They are so nice. Of course, we've already seen a couple of them installed, but so heavy. Can't wait to see them all up. And I think these are the closet doors, but unfortunately when he delivered them, he just told me that one of them is bent, so they're going to have to reorder a new one of those. So that means someone's closet probably isn't getting done today. Which door? I want my door to be this wide so the twins can't fit in. 
That could be one of your closet doors. Actually, I think that might be my closet door. That's one of the halves. I have no idea. Andrew looks like he's ready to help install the doors, but instead we're gonna break open some dinosaur eggs, right? Yeah. They got it for their birthday, and he can't wait any longer. Let's go open those eggs. I dig it dinos. I'm stronger than the cat. No, you're not. <gasps> Save him. Oop, his head. You have to get his head out. Save him. Yeah. Did you get him? We what is it? Him. <laughs> oh, cute. We have to, wash have to give him, him a nice Boy, warm bath. I, I know what. What he, kind of dinosaur? He's a, he's a sea creature. He, it's a she and he's a sea creature. A sea creature? He kind of looks like he's a His swimmer. His name is Nessie. Nessie? Yeah. Did you just come up with that? Yeah. Well, That's a real thing? Oh. And, it, and, it's from, and it's from Scotland. Okay, can he use the stick from, a second? It's from Scotland. Really? Yeah. Oh, Ethan's going on his now. I bet you got a different one in your egg. Oh. Ooh. Mom. Mom. <gasps> it's a different one! Ooh, do you know what it is? Mom, get this. What kind of dinosaur is that, Madden? Um, Triceratops! Triceratops! What should we name him? Oh, he's so cute. So cute. They got haircuts this past week for their birthday in school. Are you cleaning him up? It is about noon. I'm just making lunch right now. Let me show you what I'm making. Madden's obsessed with this. We get it at Target, but it's the Annie's Bunny Pasta. For whatever reason, it is like his favorite. So we're having that with some broccoli and apples that I just sliced up. And he just left for lunch, so it's been very, I don't wanna say chaotic, that's not the word. It's just been busy. He comes in, he, so all the doors are in our garage. So he's just coming through for each door, coming out with the old doors. I feel so bad for him. One guy here, but he is just cruising. So it's just kind of been a little bit difficult to get some things done around the house, just trying to stay out of his way, if you know what I mean, especially with the kids and their toys everywhere. But he made a ton of progress. Let me show you what he's done so far. The mudroom, laundry room door is done. This was the first one he did. I actually have my ironing board out. I think I'm going to end up donating that because I don't use it at all. And it used to hang on our other door on the back and I don't think I want to hang anything. So I'm just ready, I think, to be done with it along with the basket that was hanging also on the back of the door. We're just able to push it back closer to the wall. More space, always good. I should clarify too the ironing piece. There are certain things that I need to get the wrinkles out, but I prefer to use my handheld seamer rather than an iron. It's just so much easier. Yes, buddy. Hello? I guess it doesn't need anything. Door to our basement. This one has been, for me, the biggest transformation because I walk by this door constantly as we're kind of coming around on the main floor. So, love this. Upstairs, he's gotten quite a bit done. All of, I think, the doors, actually, not the closets, but all of the doors, they look so much better. Oh my gosh, the boys, let's see if the twins are home, I think he did, yeah, they're all done. In our bathroom, it looks like he has the door, but not the closet done, and oh my gosh, I cannot wait for this closet door to go. It's just, it's taken a beating. There used to be some sort of like stopper here that I painted over that it just does not look nice on what I did. I could have done a better job, but 
yeah, I'll be happy when that one's out. So we have all our closets to do, and then down in our entryway, we have those double doors that open. I'll show you those. And then in the basement, we have, I think, like three doors. It's like when you actually go through and count how many doors you have, it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> And of course, dollar signs as you go through each door. But yeah, it wasn't um, super cheap of a project, which is why we've kind of held off on doing it for so long. But oh my gosh, now that it's done, it looks amazing. Amazing. So happy with it so far. been busy catching up on folding clothes. It's nice because the twins have lots of fun little toys that they're playing with. They're actually out with the neighbor boy in the water table right out here, but there's no nap happening today for sure. It's just a little bit too much going on for them, but yeah, just kind of doing that. I'm also brainstorming, fall decorating. I found a sign, this one back here, that I actually think I'm going to try to make for my farmer's market right there. For that spot i think i'm going to I need to think about what i want to do for fall on that sign but i think it'll be really pretty this is actually one we had above our stairwell that i was thinking about taking down anyway so it works out it actually fits behind the door when it slides open so that's kind of what i'm doing right now macy and i are actually planning a little mini road trip tomorrow I'm going to record a shop with me and just do some of my final fall decorating shopping so i can get started you know, on the next step. Sharing the haul, then the decorating, all that fun stuff. So we have a little girls day planned. So I need to like get things figured out. What do I need and where is it all going? This sign though was a Hobby Lobby clearance, $9.99. I'm not even sure why it was on clearance. I think maybe because there was a little bit of separation there, but it really doesn't bother me at all. So what do we think? Should we do a fun quote or should I just stick to like a generic pantry sign? I don't know. Let me know if you have any ideas what I should put on here with my Cricut because that is on my list this week. It is the next day now. Macy and I are on our little girls trip, although I do need to get back home because the contractor is back working there today. He is working on closet doors now. He basically got all of the doors done going into the rooms. Now it's all about closets today. And I need to pick him up a little bit of hardware for the sliding doors in our bedroom. So long story short, we have a little bit of time to do some shopping. We're actually sitting outside Michael's and have all kinds of fall shopping and back to school shopping. We're hoping to get accomplished in a very short amount of time. I'm also recording a Kirkland's shop with me, so you will see that probably my next video. But we're gonna go do some shopping. I'll maybe share with you a few items that I pick up when we get home. But I'm gonna save the fall decor for when I share my big fall haul, which will be coming up soon. So yeah, we're looking forward to having some time together. Grandma's home with the boys, so she's there while the contractor's there. Uh, so very thankful for that. I asked her, I'm like, do you still wanna do this today? He's gonna be there. She's like, oh, it's totally fine. So we might try to pick her up some flowers or something to tell her thank you. But we're gonna do some shopping now. Macy and I are back from our little mini road trip. We had a good time, although we were a little bit rushed to get back and then we didn't even have to be when it was all said and done because the contractor was missing a few pieces to finish up all of the doors. And I think he made a small boo-boo that I need to figure out what we're going to be doing about because it's not 
acceptable in my opinion. I'm pretty easy going about some stuff, but I'll show you here what I'm talking about. But anyways, he did not get to our closet, so we still have our barn door up that you saw. And then the twins bedroom, I'm thinking theirs is because that frame was bent, if you remember seeing that. So I just need to get in touch with him or the lumber yard and figure out what the next steps are. So didn't need to rush back, but we did, but we definitely made it worth our trip. We had so much fun together. One, two, Kirkland's delivered by far. So be on the lookout for that video coming up. I found some super cute stuff. Can't wait to share it. And so yeah, I've just been putting away groceries. We went to Costco, stocked up on that, but Sadly, I was hoping in this video I was going to be sharing with you the final look of all of the doors, but it's a to be continued. You can hear the cicadas outside. Sorry about that. They are so loud. But Macy's doors look amazing. 100% happy with them. They open and close smoothly. We won't open them because her closet isn't clean and I don't know what she has in there. I don't want to share anything that she doesn't want shown, but... Yeah, I mean, just closing and opening them, so much better, but it gives this wall so much more character and it makes her room just feel, the ceilings feel higher, which she does have a little bit of a vault to her ceiling, but yeah, so, so nice. Now Madden's closet, I am not sure what happened here. So I wasn't here, like I said, so I am not sure which room he started with. I thought he started with Macy's because he had her doors down yesterday, but you can kind of even see some of the imperfections just by looking right here. It looks like he accidentally drilled holes here for the poles, but they should have been on the outside so you can, you know, open them. So these holes look ridiculously terrible, not what we wanted, obviously. And then the other thing, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but I can see the seams on this door where they like meet the pattern, but on this side, you do not see those. So I don't know if something split when he was installing them. So yeah, this will be a conversation for sure. So I think I just need to first talk to my husband and see what they discussed when I wasn't here and go from there. A couple of things I can show you though that I picked up today on our little trip that weren't really fall decor related was one, this step stool right here. It's replacing one that was glued back together and about to fall apart. And I just love this one. It's Acacia Wood Home Goods and it pops really nicely off of the blue and the gray and kind of coordinates with the mirror that they have. So that was the first thing I picked up. Another thing that I picked up, this one was at TJ Maxx, was this cute little hamper. I've been looking for one. The other one, the lid popped off and broke and I've just, I've been on the lookout for one for about a year now. Saw this one, it's just a nice little white flip top hamper super nice i think it works for all of the kids clothes that kind of make their way into the hallway when they're changing i also grabbed this set of two little pot holders from home goods for 5.99 i just really like the crocheted look to them and of course the gray and white is really nice too so i have a couple that i just need to toss and i will replace them with these I'm not going to share a Costco haul this time around. It honestly was the same stuff I buy every single time. Just like the basics. We did get a huge thing of toilet paper. That's exciting, right? And bottled water, fruit, milk. Nothing this time that was exciting like the walking taco things that I got last time. But I did find, I guess this is exciting. I was going to share this with you. This was a jacket I actually found for Madden. So he was my only child. I still had not found a good fall jacket for for school and they had a whole table of columbia jackets and they were 29.99 and it was perfect they had all kinds of colors and sizes and it has kind of like that nylon-y feel so it'll be good like i think it's water people have to look but fleece line so perfect for fall weather around here what do you think of madden's new coat Mama, I, I want to eat something you want to eat something always want to eat something. It's a good thing I just went to Costco. Oh, and I bought my mother-in-law some flowers there, but she's already gone, so I can't show those to you, but they had their giant mums out for, I think they were $14.99, I almost got one. I'm like, not quite yet, I need to wait just a little bit longer. So, 
yeah it's almost time to start dinner already time always goes so fast when you're gone all day <laughs> i'm so behind oh he is so cute do you want to show here show what you did with grandma what is it oh you oh, almost broke hold him up again and let's see what's his name it's carter um i haven't named him yet hmm. what about spikes what about Dinosaur land. Dinosaur land. What about these? Full. Point. Ceratops. Point. Ceratops. But that's points with you. Yes, Andrew? Oh, what is this for? That's for Madden. He got a new coat today. So now you all have folk jackets. Totally forgot a Bailey update for you. She got home yesterday about five o'clock from her teeth cleaning and she's doing really well. A little bit tired, yeah, but she's doing good. <gasps> Who's at the door? Who is it? Who's at the door? You wanna go get the door? I am in my pajamas and ready to head downstairs to watch Big Brother. We are so far behind on episodes. The Olympics really got us behind there. I want to say we have probably six or seven episodes that we still need to watch, so don't spoil anything. But I had two things I wanted to talk about before I end the video. One being that I went on a walk with Bailey after we were playing outside and I saw one of our neighbors already has pumpkins on their French front porch, which makes me super excited. One, I will not be the first crazy person to do it. And that also means that fall is coming very, very soon. And then the other thing was I did talk with a contractor. He feels terrible. And I told him I actually felt really horrible even asking about it. He was already planning to replace the doors. So those will get ordered. He needs to get all of the other hardware pieces to finish off the door. So work in progress and really no finish date at this point so not the ending i was expecting for today's video but not the end of the world we've lived with it for how long now many many years it will be totally fine i've been thinking about what i want to post my kirkland's shop with me i actually think i'm going to do a live premiere yeah premiere it's been so long since i've done one but i'll do a live premiere and i will come hang out in the comments with you as it goes live on saturday morning so if you are up and ready to go i usually do those at eight o'clock central time so be on the lookout for that video but anyways thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next one bye guys